Are you getting ready to take the Praxis core math exam? That is test code 5733. If that's a test that you need to pass, then good news. My name is Derek Masiaga. I've been a high school teacher for the past 10 years and test prep expert with study.com. I'm going to give you my top 10 tips for passing the exam. All right, let's jump in. The Praxis Core math exam only gives you 90 minutes to answer 56 math questions. That's pretty tight. My first two tips are all about how to finish the exam on time. Tip number one, aim for about one minute and 15 seconds per question. You actually have over a minute and a half per question, but some questions will stump you. Aiming to spend less time will give you cushion for those harder, more time-consuming questions. Consider practicing with a stopwatch so you can know how long you are spending per question and so you can get used to what 1 minute and 15 seconds feels like. Remember, you can't bring your watch into the exam, so you need to do enough practice so you know what the right pace feels like. Tip number two, skip and come back. If a question is stumping you, don't waste time staring at it. Skip it and come back at the end. You want to make sure that you have enough time to answer all of the questions that you do know how to do. Who knows, maybe the easiest question of the day may be the last one. Of course, don't forget to come back to the questions you skip. If they still stump you, always put in a guess. The next five tips are key strategies for solving problems. Use these strategies to save time and to get through problems that are more difficult. Tip number three, work backwards from the answer choices. Even if you know the correct way to solve a problem, it may be faster to use the answer choices. This works particularly well for algebra problems where you are solving for x. In this problem, you could go through the steps to solve for x, or you could plug in the answer choices until you find the right one that works. As you practice, pay attention to which types of problems you can work backwards on and whether you find it faster. Tip number four, use the calculator. An on-screen calculator will be provided during the test. Using the calculator instead of manual calculations can save you a lot of time and is also more accurate. I don't know about you, but I make a lot of careless mistakes when I do math, and the calculator can help me avoid them. You can practice with the on-screen calculator at the ETS website, and I recommend doing so. It's important to be familiar with it so you're confident on test day. Tip number five, always guess. Don't leave any questions blank. A blank question is an automatic zero for that question. There is no chance of getting a point for it. Since there's no penalty for guessing, you should always put in a guess even if you have no idea what the answer is. Since there are five answer choices, you'll get a free point about 20% of the time. When you're guessing, first eliminate any answer choices that you know are wrong, then choose a random answer choice. I recommend deciding ahead of time what your guessing letter is. For example, always select choice A when guessing. This way you don't waste time trying to decide what to guess. Tip six, use scratch paper. Don't try to solve problems in your head. That's a recipe for careless mistakes. You can and should use scratch paper to solve problems. Use your scratch paper to write out steps, redraw and manipulate diagrams, and perform calculations. It may seem to take a little longer to write things out, but most people will save time and be more accurate on paper than in their head. Tip seven, read the question carefully and answer the question that is asked. Always read the question carefully and make sure you know what is being asked. This is especially important with word problems. Try this problem. In a class of 40 students, 10 students failed the exam. What percentage of the class passed the exam? This problem is telling you how many students failed, but asking what percent passed. If you misread the problem, you might accidentally solve for the percent of students who failed, 25%. This is incorrect you need to find the 75% of students that passed. My last three tips are how to get the most from your preparation. Follow these tips while you are preparing to feel confident on test day. Tip number eight, don't spend time memorizing formulas, but do practice using them. The good news is that you don't need to memorize a lot of formulas for the exam. You'll be provided with a formula sheet for area and circumference of a circle, area of rectangles and triangles, and volume of a rectangular box. However, do practice using these formulas so they are comfortable and familiar on test day. Here's a quick problem to practice. The circumference of a circle is c equals 2 pi r and the area is a equals pi r squared. 
Pause the video to use those formulas to solve this problem. Ready? The correct answer is 12 centimeters. If you'd like more help with problems like this, check out our Praxis Core Math Practice Problems videos or try out the unlimited practice on study.com. Tip number nine, practice, practice, practice. There is no substitute for working through sample questions that mirror those that you will face on test day. Every practice question that you do is going to help you be a little more prepared for test day. When you see that question on the test, you're gonna think, oh yeah, I did just something like this. This is going to help you a ton. Study.com has unlimited practice categorized by test topic so you can focus on the areas that you need the most help with. Tip number 10, take full length practice tests. Make sure to take at least one and preferably two or three full length practice tests. I know it can be hard to find an uninterrupted hour and a half, but it's essential that you get a feel for the full test experience, start to finish, and build stamina for a full length test. You don't want to get halfway through the actual test and realize you are losing focus. You can prep in a number of different ways. I'm going to recommend study.com's Praxis Core Math Test Prep course. It covers everything that I just went through, but in a ton more detail, including short form videos that explain all the concepts you're going to encounter on the test, along with a huge bank of high quality practice questions, complete with answer explanations so you can learn from your mistakes. All the content has been written and vetted by former teachers, and users who complete the course have a 92% pass rate on the test. So yeah, a great resource for you. Also, please check out more videos in these series. We have Praxis Core Math question walkthroughs here shortly so that we can tackle some specific questions together, as well as information for a bunch more Praxis tests. So if you found this video helpful, please like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get alerted when new teacher test prep content drops. And also, I wanna hear from you. Let me know down below in the comments if there are specific tests or questions that you are struggling with that we should cover here. And don't forget to circle back once you have passed your Praxis 5733 test so we can all celebrate with you. Take care.